We're working to provide you more mental health resources for families in Pine Bluff, and that's one what one nonprofit has been working to do for the last five years down there. This weekend, they're going to host their first mental health wellness and suicide prevention summit. And tonight, THV 11's Jalissa Garza joins us with a closer look at the group's efforts and the story behind them. Yeah, Rolly, the DeAndre Seals Suicide Prevention Outreach Project is a grassroots organization that started in Pine Bluff in 2018. They work to remove the stigma around talking about mental health and provide resources for families and individuals who may need it. Very family oriented and he loved football and his his favorite subject was history, history and civics. He really enjoyed that. That's how Kamara Seals describes her son, DeAndre, who she lost by suicide in 2014. He had a mental health diagnosis, had been diagnosed, and three months later, uh, he was gone. Her experience leading her to help others, starting the DeAndre Seals Suicide Prevention Outreach Project. We are trying to normalize the conversation and rid the stigma around getting help. She says they work to provide education and resources, helping bridge the gap between where help is and who may need it. When my family went through this, we, we just did, this was the beginning. We did not know. And now we did get my son some help. It was just, you know, it was late for us. And so we do, we want to bridge that gap. For six months, the nonprofit has been working to put together a mental health summit in Pine Bluff, set to take place Saturday. Is that we're going to have six mental health professionals in one location. She hopes people will walk away empowered. Making sure that they have the resources that they need to be a mental health advocate for their family, friends, and loved ones. And she's glad to create a support system for others, all in memory of her son. This is rewarding, although bittersweet, because in order for me to do this work, I had to lose my son. And so by doing this, it does help with my healing. Tomorrow, people will break into small groups by ages to hear from these mental health experts. And if you're interested, we have those details on our website, THV11.com.